What's going on YouTube? Jeans here, back again, bringing you guys some more competitive ranked double battles for Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet. In today's video, we are rocking out with a Life Orb Shen Pal team that also features Choice Band Dragapult and Assault Vest Urshifu. You guys already know the deal. If you do enjoy the content anytime, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. But this team right here is made for high ranks on the ladder. You got a bunch of cool Pokemon to pair up well. You got Tornadus with the Urshifu. You got Shen Pao with the Dragapult and Shen Pao with the Ogapine. Then you got a nice little support Pokemon with Indeedee. Should be a fun one. We should be able to grab you guys some wins with this team. But the first Pokemon that we're going to talk about in today's team preview is going to be Tornadus. Tornadus, a top tier support Pokemon ever since it's been released back into this game. It's got Prankster and the Rocky Helmet as item, Rock and Bleak Wind Storm, Tailwind for Speed Control, Rain Dance for Weather Control, and to pair up with that Urshifu. And then we got Protect for our fourth and final move. And our second slot is going to be our support Pokemon. It is going to be Indeedee with Psychic Surge and the Psychic Seeds as its item. It's got Psychic, Follow Me, Helping Hand, and Protect. For an amazing move set for any DD. In our third slot, we got the one and only Shen Pao. Great physical attacker and great Pokemon to pair up with physical attackers with. It's got Swords of Ruin with the Life Orb, making it do crazy amounts of damage, and it's Rock and Icicle Crash, Lash Out, Sacred Sword, and Protect. Fourth slot is going to be Fire Ogre Pond, probably the best Ogre Pond in the meta right now. It's got Mold Breaker and obviously with that Hard Flame Mask, and it's got Ivy Cudgel, Horn Leech, Play Rough for coverage, and Spiky Shield for its fourth and final move. In our fifth slot, we got Choice Band Dragapult. I feel like Dragapult is only viable in rank right now with the Choice Band, and it's just so strong all around, especially pairing it up with Shen Pao. It's got Clear Body as stability, then it has Dragon Darts, Phantom Force, U-Turn, and Terra Blast with that Ghost Terra type. And our final slot is going to be Urshifu, a Pokemon you cannot go wrong with in regulation E. Then it's Unseen Fist to hit through Protects, Assault Vest as its item, then it's Rock and Close Combat, Surge and Strikes, Ice Spinner to take out Terrain, and Aqua Jet for its final move. Guys, you want to rent the scene for yourself? Rent the code is at the top right hand corner, but let's get after it. Let's hop on that rank double ladder, let's grab some wins with this Choice Span Dragapult, Urshifu, and Life Orb Shen Pal team. We're hopping into our first match, and by the time this video goes live, the Indigo Disc DLC will now be released into Scarlet and Violet. What that means is more Pokemon to use on the ladder, which I'm super excited for, especially to make a ton of new videos for you guys. But in order for me to do that, I need rental teams. If you guys are interested or have new teams featuring new Pokemon, make sure you leave your rental codes down in the comment section down below, or do me one better, tweet at me or DM me over on Twitter. Link is down in the description below. I'm looking for teams with all different types of Pokemon. Personally, I want Metagross, Incineroar, and Wimscott first because I think they're going to be so viable in the meta. And other than that, than that, I want every other Pokemon. I want the new starters like Mudkip, or I should say Swampert, Blaziken, Sceptile, and other Pokemon like Flygon, Magmortar, and all of the above. And the new Pokemon that's been released, like the uh, like the Raikou and the Duraludon form. Super cool, want to get my hands on that. But we got 35 seconds to pick, and you guys can see the team on the right side. They're filled with Legends of Ruin Pokemon. But what I think I can actually do early on here is just go hyper offensive, meaning leading Shen Pao and potentially like, oh, I could go in DD stop first turn priority. That wouldn't be bad. That would not be bad, and I'm actually going to do that. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to bring Ogre Pond in the back end. And last but not least, I am going to rip up into. Da -da -da. I just think Choice Band Dragon Pulse always a solid option. Yeah. I mean, indeed, he's going to be okay. I like it more so for support things like Helping Hand or just like Follow Me. But they have a lot of Dark types, and I can't even touch them. I can't even touch them. So I was going to swap it out last second. But, I mean, I wasted a bunch of time talking about the new Indigo Disc DLC that I'm super excited for. So it was worth it. It was worth it. Oh, another thing I wanted to know is let me know in the comment section down below. What do you guys think of the new thumbnails? I want to change up my thumbnails. Give it a little bit more pizzazz. I think you guys would like it. Let me know in the comment section down below. But uh, they end up going Chiyu alongside with that thingy, Toxapex. Toxapex coming out here. And I think from here, Heat Wave is definitely looking a little scary. I could Terrastalize. I could definitely Terrastalize the, uh, the Shen Pao here if I want to. I might want to, right? Into Poison. Would be pretty good. And then I could just go Sacred Sword and Psychic. I like that. I definitely like that. So I got the Psychic Seeds boosted. I'm going to Terrastalize into straight Poison type. Just so Heat Wave doesn't just over 
power me and dump on me because I'm not holding the uh, focus dash like a normal Shen Pao would be. Now I'm going to Terra here. I'm going to get the poison type cooking. I think speed's kind of on our side up against these Pokemon. We have a rather fast team. So going in with a rather fast team is always good. It's always wonderful. He's going to end up withdrawing Chiyu turn one. And he's going to go and do anything but Flutterman, right? It's probably going to be Flutterman at this point. No, it's going to be Wo Chen. So Wo Chen, Wo Chen comes out here and it knocks down all attack. So, I mean, that's okay. Kind of a waste of Terra, but hey, it's fine. That'd be fine. So this kind of looks like a stall team, correct? It kind of looks like he just wants to set up weak seed. And kind of get after it. That's really what it looks like. But Sacred Sword is going to fly. It's going to do a great amount of damage, which we love. Big time damage. And Psychic's also going to do a nice chunk of damage over onto this Toxapex. In the terrain, Sab. Oh, yes. We love it. So it looks like he wants to set up stall. And that definitely is what he what they're aiming for here. So they're aiming for the stall set up. Um, that's fine. That's fine, I guess. I mean, from here... I could go Iso Crash, uh, and I am going to go for Iso Crash here, just in case he wants to, to Rastalize. And I think I just go for a Psychic here, right? I think I just keep attacking at this point. He's going to end up withdrawing him. He's going to go back into Chiyu, is that correct? And if you don't protect that Wu Chen, he's probably dead, which could be really good for us. And they're going to Terrasalize it. So that's why we switched to Ice of Crash. Just in case he wants Terrasalize into a typing that can block fighting moves. And he goes straight Poison. Okay. Ice of Crash, can you KO? Can you KO? I really hope so. I really hope so. That'd be big time. Ice of Crash can connect. Can you KO? You do. That's beautiful. So we get rid of their Terra. We get rid of the World Chen. Massive attack stats are back looking good on the field. And we get rid of a big time stall. Pick. So we're sitting here. Psychic is going to be unaffected. Uh, I wonder who they bring out here. Going to be back in Toxapex? Yeah, they go back in Toxapex with Regenerator. Um, I think from here we just Sacred Sword. You can't Terrasalize anymore. Psychic this slot. And just keep going from there. Yeah, I like that. I like that all day. <laughs> I like that play. Our opponent's probably so upset now that we got rid of that Wu Chen. That was their whole, that was their whole scheme here was to just set up with the Wu Chen talk specs. And I said, nah, yo, we getting after it. So Sacred Sword going to absolutely rip into the Shiyu. Life Orb Shen Pao is no joke. No joke at all. Psychic's also going to fly. And this is not going to KO, but still damage. Oh my God, it almost KO'd. Damage is through the roof. He's going to recover on one HP. I think he dies to the next Psychic. Let's see how much he goes up. Oh, yeah, you're dead to the next second. You are a goner. You're a goner. So Shen Pao absolutely ripping this, this match. He's going to go in the Dragonite. And that's a good thing. I did bring it in D. No first time priorities allowed. So from here, Iso Crash, Psychic. Pretty simple matchup. This is a game, right? Yeah, they canceled the match. 1 0. We start off with a big fat sweep with Life Orb Shen Pao carrying. First match went super well. We're hopping into our second match, and we're going up against a Cinderace team. Haven't seen Cinderace too much on the rank ladder, so actually super excited to be versing here in match number two. They also have Roboom. They have Jump Bluff, Sylveon, Urshifu, and Golden Go. Um, I'm thinking... I'm thinking we just go hyper-offensive again, right? I could just go Shen Pao. I could also go in with, like, Dragapult turn one, just super fast Pokemon to really get things done. And I kind of like that. I definitely kind of like that. And that's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to go Shen Pao. I'm going to go Dragapult here, turn one. Back end, I think we just bring Urshifu and Ogre Pot. Speed, our Pokemon are rather fast with, so I just like it a lot. I like it a lot. Something I do have to watch out for, though, would be Sucker Punch on Cinderace. It probably has uh, Liberio, so it can switch its typing. And hit me pretty hard with that, but I just don't really see them lead Cinderace. I see it more of uh, like a back end Pokemon. So, I guess we'll see and we'll go from there. I guess we shall see. But this team right here, so hyper offensive, just like attack, 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 and I love it. But of course they end up leading to the race. Um, do I just end up hard swapping the Dragapult? That could be an option. I could just end up hard swapping Dragapult if I want to. Like Sucker Punch is just 
Uh, looking sc scary. It's looking a bit too scary. If I go for Phantom Force, will that dodge Sucker Punch? I'm actually real curious for that. Super curious for that. Huh. What's I play here? I'm not swapping to you. I'm just gonna protect you. I'm gonna swap the Dragon Bolt. I'm gonna swap the Dragon Bolt. Just get that out there. Hopefully, a Sucker Punch isn't coming into that slot. I know this just Cinderace learns like a bunch of cool moves. But it's always tough when you're going up against Cinderace. And hopefully, we're really hoping they're going for that Sucker Punch. He's gonna end up hit clicking that Terra button. And is that going into Roll Boom? It is. Roll Boom's going to try slice into a straight rock type. Rock type rollerball. I can hit that thing with a grass move. Oh, baby, we be cooking. So I'm gonna protect the Chen power. Hoping he's kind of just doubling down into me, right? That'd be pretty good. There's the sucker punch, yo. <laughs> I make the good read. Let's go. Let's go. And hammer arm's gonna get blocked. Okay, we love it. We love it. We love it. We love it. Okay, that's solid. That's solid. Because now I can just rip a horn leech here. I can KO you all day. And from here, I'm gonna actually trash slice you and go into a lash out into Sandy's. Cool. Alright, so that's that's solid. That's solid. The reason I'm trash slicing is because obviously don't need that rock or fire moon coming after me. I can just trash slice into poison here. And Ogre Pond should be solid all around, right? Ogre Pond should be chilling. Just dropping a nice little horn leech for a KO. We love it. Robo's gonna end up protecting. That's totally fine. Um and Shen Pao, you're just gonna go for a fire move after this? Probably, most likely. Lash out doing insane amount of damage. He's gonna go for a gunk shot. I'm dodging now, aren't I? No, I'm not. He's taking out. You got gunk, dude. Just a move pool. The move pool on this Pokemon is absurd. It's just absurd. It's just absurd. So I can't go into Dragapult just yet. I cannot go into Dragapult just yet. I can't really go into you either. Oh man. How do you guys have protect? Oh my lord, this is ugly. This is so ugly. It's just so ugly. Um Ah, what do I do here? Mm, what do I do here? We're gonna go in Dragon Pool. I'm just gonna hard swap him. I'm just gonna hard swap him. I'm gonna try to keep all my Pokemon on the field here. So my play here is going to be just to bring him out, try to force a Sucker Punch out here, and hard swap him into that. And then Sacred Sword you down. And potentially like Aqua Jet next turn. Okay. Tough matchup here. Tough matchup here. We're trying to make plays here. That's my Pokemon typing. Maybe I should have saved my Terra. Maybe I should have saved my Terra. Would it be like that? I'm gonna withdraw Dragon Pole. We're hoping Sucker Bunch is coming into this slot again. Be beautiful. Be beautiful if they go for another Sucker Punch. And honestly, I think I can get him going for it. Let's see. I'm gonna withdraw and Robo too. That's kind of annoying. That you withdraw and Robo. I don't like that one bit. I don't like that one bit. Not one bit. Sucker Punch is getting drawn out here again, which is beautiful. Okay. That's not too bad. I'm gonna be able to drop a Sacred Sword here. Um. Now we go for Aqua Jet. Yeah, now we definitely Aqua Jet that slot. Um. We do have a Soul Fest, so maybe we can eat up a Sylveon shot, which would be massive. And I'm just gonna go for an Ice Whip Crash this slot. Yes. We get a chance of flinching as well, which is beautiful. Okay. 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 So not too bad of plays here. Aqua Jet's gonna finish off Cinderace. We love that. We love that. So solid plays to keep Dragapult and Urshfu on the field. 
I see crash can come out here. Big time damage coming out here. Can we get a flinch though? We just KO. Massive. Massive right there. That's massive. Definition of massive right there. So the thing is, they have fake out ready to go. Um They have fake out ready to go. They're gonna bring out their Urshifu. This is such a good match. <laughs> this is such a good matchup. And they're gonna bring out their Rillaboom. Okay. Alright, I understand. This is where things get scary. Um I'm just gonna pop an Aqua Jet. I'm gonna double down into Rillaboom. I'm doubling down the little You could fake me out. You could fake me out. But I'm going to double down just in case you're not going for fake out. And you're not. So Aqua Jet is going to deal nice damage. He's probably going for Grass Guy to finish me off. He is. No, and I soaked that. That's beautiful that we soaked that. Because Sacred Sword should KO here, which it does. And now we're sitting in a great position with, with Dragapult in the back end. Massive plays from us. Great swap wins. Great, great swap outs. Um, reading the sucker punches twice in this game, massive, massive, absolutely massive. But Surge Strikes is going to fly into my Shen Pao, and I believe that KOs us, right? We might survive on one. We might get a little one survival. Oh, a little five? A little five? We love that. <laughs> we love, we love it, we love it. So now I'm sitting here in a really good position. He has a Pokemon out here that can't use a double-hitting move. And... We're just going to be able to hit this thing as hard as we want. So I'm going to go into Sacred Sword. I'm going to go into Close Combat. And they just cancel the battle. So there it is, ladies and gentlemen. 2-0. and oh, Absolutely killing it on the rank ladder. What a great video so far. We're sitting 2-0. and oh. We're hopping into our third and final match. We'd love to grab you guys a perfect record going 3-0. and oh. But um, yeah, top tier meta is standing in our way. They got Tornadus, Rillaboom, Shen Pao, alongside with Urshifu, Fluttermane, and Hisuian Arcanine. So this is just like a staple meta team in regulation E. Super, super strong. Super, super good all around. These six Pokemon are just insane in the meta right now. But um, I think we just stick with our hyper offensive move style, unless I want to go Tornadus here. And I kind of want to go Tornadus just because they have Tornadus. So I can kind of cancel out their Tornadus with my Tornadus. If that makes sense. Tailwind for Tailwind kind of kind of play coming at you guys. But um, in the back end, I don't mind going Urshifu as a lead because one, I can set rain if need be. And that's always good, especially with Urshifu. And yeah, that's something I want to do. So I'm going to go Urshifu here. I'm going to go in with Tornadus. And then back end, just Dragapult Chen Pao. That sounds really, really good. Really fast Pokemon. They pair up well together. Let's see, 194. Ooh, 194. Oh, it's getting hot in here. It's getting hot. Spicy right there. Real, real spicy. Super, super spicy. But yo, I'm such a big fan of my new thumbnails. I really put in a lot more work with these thumbnails. I was I was uh, working on them all night. So hopefully you guys do enjoy them. Hopefully you guys do enjoy them. I'm trying to upgrade my channel a little bit here. And uh, get things cooking on the channel. But they end up going Tornadus and Fluttermane. Um, from here, this is probably just a... A simple... I might just Rain Dance here. And Terrasalize Urshu. What terror type you got? Nice little fairy. We'd like that. We'd like a nice little fairy terror type. Um, yeah, you know what? I'm gonna set up the rain dance. I'm gonna terrasalize. I'm just gonna surge and strike. So I'm going to get rid of this flutter man. I doubt he bleak wind storms, right? I really doubt you bleak wind storm. And if you don't bleak wind storm, we should be able to get rid of flutter man, then be able to pop a tailwind. Yeah, I'm cool with that. I doubt you bleak wind storm and dazzle. Man. We might still be able to eat that up, considering we are assault vested. We are vested. So this this rule boom a bit on the bulkier side on the special defense. Which is great. So we terrestrialize it, we put it into a nice little fairy. We get a little hard on top of it. Because we love this bear. And I pop the rain dance. The rain dance comes out here. Show me the tailwind from him. We are gonna see a tailwind from him. So good reads on my end. Fluttermane's probably just going for a gleam or like a boom blast kind of play here. And yeah, there's a Dazzle Gleam. And everything's gonna work out perfectly because Urshifu's soaking. Urshifu's now KOing this thing. Look at that. Absolutely ripping into it. And then next turn, I can set up Tailwind, which will allow me to get speed. It will allow me to actually uh, be neutral with him on speed control, but get off one more turn when their Tailwind ends. So pretty massive for us. Pretty massive. Solid turn for us. Solid, solid turn. Then it, then it, then it, then it, then it, then it. 
cool. So, Shen Pao now comes out. Okay. So now I see Shen Pao. I'm, I'm forced to go into Tailwind. Yeah, I'm forced. I am forced to go into Tailwind. And I think something I want to do is just Surgeon Strike Shen Pao. I'd rather just go after Shen Pao. Because if I can land the Surgeon Strikes onto him, it's crazy strong. And no shot you have Taunt. You have Taunt? That's a little upsetting for us. But hey, that's fine, I guess. I guess that's fine, because he's going to Ice Crash. Can you eat this? You do. That's so big. And I flinch? I flinch. That is absurd. That is absurd, I flinch. You should be dead. You should be dead. That is absurd. So absurd, because now I can go for Sucker Punch pretty much, Kami, but I'm still going to try to go for Aqua Jet. I flinch. I get off an Aqua Jet, though. Lovely. Some solid damage. And I flinch? Oh, my lord. Really, I think it's like a 10% chance of flinching on Ice Super Crash. Might be higher, I could be wrong. But like, I flinch? Come on now. A little ridiculous. The taunt play was good from him, but still. I wasn't too worried about the taunt play because I was just like, we should be able to soak up Shen Pao's slot or shot and just get rid of it with our shoe. But I flinch? Come on now. That ain't right. That ain't cool. That ain't right or cool. Uh, now I don't have Terra and really hoping this thing doesn't have Sucker Punch. Really hoping it doesn't have Sucker Punch, but it probably has some sort of Dark Move. This is just tough news for us. Ugly. So ugly. Um, hmm. Definitely want to use that. Uh, ah. I guess I'll choose some Dragon Darts. I guess I will, but if you have Sucker Punch, I'm a goner. Wish I had protected at this point. Yep, there's Sucker Punch. See you later, Dragon Bolt. Sucker Punch has been attacking us all day today. <laughs> Just too many Sucker Punches. <laughs> Way too many Sucker Punches. Lee Queen Storm comes out here, and I'm curious to see who their final Pokemon is. Very curious. The so Sacred Sword is going to show us their final Pokemon. And honestly, I want to see who the final Pokemon is, because I will let you guys know if we would have won this match if I didn't flinch. But just think, if I didn't flinch there, we take out their Shen Pao with our Urshifu, and we still have... All of our Pokemon, pretty much. They're gonna bring out Urshifu in. I think we win this one, right? I mean, they have speed for a little bit, so they could they could have picked up some KOs, but I think we would have had a hot shot at win this one. Definitely would have been close, but I think we would have came out on top. So two and one for today's video. Flinch doing this a little bit dirty. I'm gonna run this one. Hopefully, you guys still did enjoy. There you go, ladies and gentlemen. Hyper offensive team in the rank ladder. Absolutely love it. Fast pace, very, like I said, hyper offensive, hitting like a truck, and just winning matches. 2 and 1. Potentially should have went 3 and 0 oh in today's video, but I loved it all around. Feel like I just got to showcase this team really well and use pretty much every single Pokemon on the squad. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread some positivity today, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.